today, happy to share with you that as well as Lulu Group is growing, Telangana is growing equally impressively. I have to share uh, a few things that uh, we have done in our state here. So this state was formed nine years ago, in 2014 in June. Uh, it is just, we just completed nine years and we have entered the 10th year and we have completed the celebration for 21 days on numerous achievements in our state. Just to give you a few examples, in 2014, the per capita income of the state of Telangana was 1,12,000 rupees. And today, the per capita income of Telangana is 3,17,000 rupees, <laughs> highest, highest, highest in the country for any state. And this is not me blowing my own trumpet. It is actually the RBI data. Um, let me also tell you, sir, our gross state domestic product back in 2014 was 5,5,000 crore. And now today, it is 13.27 lakh crore. Fastest growth for any state in India today. Not only this, Telangana, because you're a man who knows uh, the food processing sector rather well, Telangana and our Honorable Chief Minister, you know, with his absolute precise precision focus and precision targeting, has ensured that we have done some things in a record time, which no other state in India has done. You will be surprised to hear this, Yusuf Bhai. We have completed the world's largest lift irrigation project, the world's largest, not India's largest, in a span of four years. We lift water, we lift water from about 82 meters above sea level to 618 meters. This is a project called Kaleshwaram. I would urge you to actually, when you have some time, come visit it and bring some, you know, some of your investor friends from the Middle East as well so that they can also see India's potential, not Telangana's potential, and India's abilities to pull off world-class projects. What this project has done, what this project has done is it has brought in water for irrigation and farming to 45 lakh acres of land in Telangana. And if you take two crop cycles, it irrigates in an year nine, 90 lakh acres of uh, uh, you know, land. More importantly, what it has also done has resulted in agricultural expansion like never before. In fact, our agriculture has, and agriculture activity has expanded in such a way that the same state which used to procure 68 lakh metric tons of paddy rice in 2014, today actually procures three and a half crore metric tons of paddy from our state. And we are now the largest paddy producer in the country. We have just surpassed, and we were ranked 24th in 2014. Now we are, we are the largest in the country for paddy production. Now we have our neighbors calling us. Karnataka is calling us. Tamil Nadu is calling us, saying you are a paddy producer. We are running out of paddy and rice. So please, why don't you actually help us? Of course, we have our political differences, but we'll not let that come in the way of helping them. Let me also share with you, sir. You know, you are a leader in food processing, and you are a leader in hypermarkets and uh, retail services, retail operations. Recently, we have uh, passed a uh, government order here allowing for 24 by 7 operations of uh, you know, uh, retail outlets as well. So you, whenever you launch your mall and whenever you launch your retail operations here, you'll be comforted with the fact that you can actually work in three shifts, you can be available to people for 24 by 7. The other thing I also wanted to mention, what these large-scale irrigation projects have done in Telangana, Yusubai, is truly astounding. There are five revolutions which are agriculture and allied activities. The first thing, of course, like I said, our agriculture has expanded, and so it has ushered in a green revolution. Today, we are the largest producer of paddy. We produce the best quality of cotton in India, surpassing Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Gujarat, etc., etc. And our cotton quality is the best. This is not me saying it again. This is the South India Mills Association certifying and telling us that your long staple cotton is the best of its kind in India. So a green revolution is being ushered in simultaneously because of all these new water reservoirs that have been created and because of all the stabilization that has happened in the 46,000 tanks that we have, little tanks and lakes that we have. Now we have become number one in inland fisheries. The state which is number one in inland fisheries today is Telangana. A blue revolution is being ushered in. You will be very surprised to hear this. A new reservoir that has been created in my district called Rajana Sirsila. In fact, Akhil knows it uh, very well and he can share it with your team. 
We are creating India's largest aqua hub in about 370 acres. And from there, we will be exporting different varieties of fish to the US. Tilapia is a fish that is very popular in US. A company called Fishin is exporting, is investing about 1,000 crores. There's another company called CP Foods. They're also investing there. Another company called Ananda. They're also investing there. Between all three of them, they're going to make this India's largest aqua hub, inland water hub. We'll share more details with you if you're interested. So green revolution, a blue revolution. And the third one, third one that I'll talk about is how, because of a very specific program, our livestock has doubled. We have launched a program of sheep rearing in Telangana. Now, this has resulted, and Adar Sinha sir will give you more details. We are investing about 11,000 crores of rupees into this. And we provide this with a huge subsidy to the, to the shepherds here, the shepherd community here. As a result, our livestock is doubled. Now, what this does, earlier when we used to, I mean, this is a meat-consuming state, a heavy consumption of meat, and we are one of the largest meat consumers in the country. Earlier, we used to actually get these uh, animals from other parts of India. We used to get 300 trucks every day into Hyderabad from other parts of India. But now with the livestock doubling, there is a huge opportunity to create a meat processing industry in Telangana for export as well. And I'm delighted that you're stepping in and with your support, I'm sure we can take it to the next level. I'm delighted that you're coming in. You've launched your meat exporting units and food processing units in Uttar Pradesh and other parts of India. And I'm happy that you're doing it here too. And we will stand with you, we'll ensure that uh, uh, you know, this state and this country can actually ensure that we also can usher in a pink revolution of meat processing. The fourth revolution that is also unfolding in Telangana today. Our milk production, you know, and again, Adar Sinha ji can tell you, we had a state dairy called as Vijaya Dairy. Now, Vijaya Dairy was in losses when Telangana was formed. But today, Vijaya Dairy has turned around. Our milk production has increased by 380%. And today, they have turned into profits and they are giving a dividend to the state government. Not only the state dairy, the cooperative dairies are doing well. We have a Karimnagar dairy, we have a mother dairy, they are doing well. And the private dairies, like Heritage, Dodla. So it's a very interesting situation where you have the private sector, the cooperative sector, and also the government sector, all of them doing well in this field of dairy. Now, this is ushered in a white revolution. But there is a lot more that can be done with milk and dairy products. For instance, of course, we are actually launching a mega dairy plant. Our, our special chief secretary is reminding me. The state government is launching a mega dairy plant, I think, with uh, 300 crores plus. In August, we'll be inaugurating it. And uh, we are very proud of the fact that the state dairy, five lakh, liters five lakh liters per day will be the capacity. And we'll be inaugurating it in August. All of this has resulted in additional income for the farmers. Because farming is, farmers' income is not just about agriculture and agriculture produce. All these allied sectors add to their income as well, including dairy. And the last revolution that we are trying to unveil and usher in Telangana. We have set a very ambitious target of 20 lakh acres, bringing 20 lakh acres of land under oil palm cultivation in Telangana. We believe that this is imminently doable and this is in the interest of the country. Because today India imports nearly 80% of edible oils. We want to change that. We want to make sure that uh, you know, we become the leaders in oil palm cultivation. The target that we have set for ourselves is 20 lakh acres in five years. We've already reached about one and a half lakh acres and we will continue with this. And this will usher in a yellow revolution. So Panch revolution, the green revolution, the blue revolution with fisheries in aqua, the pink revolution with meat processing, with white revolution, dairy and dairy products, and fifth one is yellow revolution, oil palm. All of these five will augment our farmers' income, will improve the state's economy, will provide rural livelihoods, and will make Telangana a leader in the country for other states to emulate and follow. And recently, we had conducted a food conclave. Uh, my department had conducted a food conclave. I'm very happy to also share with you that we've been able to attract significant investments from the small entrepreneurs, medium entrepreneurs, and the big entrepreneurs. Today, Telangana has become home to a number of quality food-related investments, food processing-related investments. We have, in fact, some of the world's biggest names in a company called Monet, which is a French company which manufactures syrups out of here. We also have Indian companies, you know, such as Hudson, which have their largest ice cream plant right here. We also have now Lulu Group, which is also going to be investing in my state. 
But the story has just begun. The reason why I say this is because we have now decided, our chief minister has now decided that we will set up special food processing zones in about 10,000 acres of land. We've already acquired the land. In 16 different clusters, we're setting up these food processing zones. And I would urge you also to look at these possibilities. Because you are a large company which will have significant operations in retail and also in food processing. You will need large logistics hubs. We can happily work with you and your team in showing some locations which are already readily available. Because Telangana, if you look at us in the Indian map, we are geographically bang in the middle of the country. So logistically, for you to move around and cater to about eight, nine states in central India and south India, there cannot be a better base than Telangana. So I would urge you also to look at setting up a large base for your logistical operations out of Telangana. Look at our special food processing zones, because the opportunities that are unfolding by way of these five revolutions, the green revolution, the yellow revolution, the blue revolution, the pink revolution, and the white revolution, the opportunities are immense, not only for the domestic market, but also to use these products to your hypermarts and your supermarkets and your malls elsewhere in the country and elsewhere in the world. So thank you very much for committing to an investment of 3,500 crores. I promised you that I'll come and inaugurate your mall in August. Let's work, uh, let's work with your team. We'll make it happen. And I'm delighted that uh, an Indian entrepreneur, let me say this again, I'm delighted that an Indian entrepreneur is going places, is making waves, truly touched that you've taken the time out to come all the way here, and uh, truly look forward to seeing you again in August or September. Jai Telangana, Jai Hind.